The objective of this research is to use non-contact sensing to characterize the contents of containers. The application of this research is in the detection of homemade explosive devices. This work is focused on understanding how the signature of a container changes due to its contents. These three one-gallon plastic containers look nearly identical from the outside, but each has different contents. One is empty, one contains water, and the third contains a mixture of kitty litter and water to create a clay-like material. The containers were excited using an 8-ohm impedance selenium air driver placed approximately 3 inches behind the container. The signal was a burst chirp from 100 to 5,000 hertz in a duration of around half a second. The excitation signal was created using this vibrometer system shown here and then amplified. This portion of the video provides a walk-around view of the entire experimental setup. The burst chirp excitation can be heard in this portion of the video. The sound pressure was approximately 110 dB in amplitude. The spot from the laser vibrometer can also be observed to move from point to point on the surface of the container as it measures the velocity response. The screen image shows the software interface and the rich nature of the measured velocity response, containing a broad range of frequencies. This plot shows the specter of the velocity response measured perpendicular to the surface at one point on the container. The black curve corresponds to the empty container, while the blue curve corresponds to the container filled with water. 25 blocks of data were used to average the spectrum for each container type. It's clear that the spectrum corresponding to the water-filled container is much lower in amplitude than the empty container. Here are the two curves corresponding to the container, again empty, and one container con claim containing the clay-like substance. Once again, the spectrum for the container with clay is much lower in amplitude than the empty container. These expressions indicate the analytical relationships that demonstrate why the amplitude for the containers filled with water and clay are much lower in velocity than the empty container. This final comparison shows the two filled containers, one with water, one with clay. Handheld vibrometers are available, such as this Keons 1D unit, that could be used to acquire the non-contact response data for this type of research. A peer-reviewed paper related to this work is being presented at the ASME Dynamic Systems and Controls Conference October 21st through the 23rd in Palo Alto, California. The paper focuses on how the interface between the walls of the container and an explosive surrogate material influences the signature that is measured on the outside of the container. The paper demonstrates, as shown in this plot, that a surrogate material with 75% volume fraction of crystals can be distinguished from a material with 50% volume fraction of crystals using only the response of the container material. This shift in resonant frequencies is apparent in the velocity spectrum plot. Furthermore, the nonlinear nature of the response of the container is observed due to the presence of the interface. We would like to acknowledge our sponsor from the United States Office of Naval Research, also our co-author, and the principal investigator of this research and other collaborators.